Hey everyone, Nick here with another uh, great rundown. Now every year this time, we get a lot of people asking about turntables. You know, my kid's getting into vinyl, we need a turntable, all right? You know, what's good, what's bad, what's out there? And we here at the store sell everything. We sell new high-end, we sell really high-end, we sell entry-level stuff, we refurbish turntables, we refurbish receivers, all that stuff. So we've kind of had it all over the years, in the 15 years we've been doing this. So we're gonna kind of go through some of the more common items that you might find locally. Um, obviously we have them for sale as well, but if you're really far away, it might make it a little tough, but um, we'll kind of go over them. So uh, we're gonna start here with the, the Crosley Cruiser, or in my instance, the Sharper Image uh, Bluetooth turntable. So these, you've probably seen them, they're, commonly referred to as Crosley's. This is a sharper image one, which is slightly different. I'm gonna let you know that these are all pretty much just a name change. You may see them as Victrola's, Crosley's, sharper image, uh, and various other names. They're the, basically the same turntable. Um, it is cool all-in-one design. They fold down, fold up. This one has an onboard battery. You can plug in and charge it like your cell phone. And it's Bluetooth, so you can switch the switch here and it becomes a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we have, we have a marked down to $50, which is the lowest price we have ever had on them. Brand new for 50 bucks. I will say these play used vinyls. Great. You know, records pre two thousands very well. The problem happens when you buy new records with these turntables, which most people aren't going to explain this to you. But like if you buy a uh, gorilla's demon days or a record with heavy bass on it, the, this arm here has tough time tracking the record. So, you know, the bass groove on a record is like kind of, it's, it's pretty hard for a tone arm to track. Well, this inexpensive tone arm has trouble, trouble tracking it. And what ultimately happens is you get skating. So it'll go like, zip, 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 zip. The, re the, the arm will kind of skip inwards. A lot of people think it's the, t the record player's faulty or the record's faulty. And really it's, it's neither. The record's fine, the record player is good, but it has limits. I mean, it's a $50 all-in-one record player. Um, like I said, great for a kid getting started. You know, maybe a kid in his 10, 12, 13, 15. You're not sure if they're gonna be into it. I wanna play, you know, old, my old records or grandma's old records, or, you know, maybe grandma wants to get her records out and play her old records. This will do that fantastically. It excels at that. But don't buy it expecting it to be a hi-fi system. This is not a hi-fi system in a box. It's $50. It'll get the job done, but just don't expect the world out of it. So for the price, excellent value. Just, you know, keep it reasonable. Understand where its limits are at. Got a, got a bunch of those in stock. So those, obviously, you see these everywhere. Um, you know, not a bad way to go, but just understand what's going on. All right, so we're going to move up the ladder. When people then go to, they say, all right, I want a three-piece system. Or they, maybe they say, I've had a few in this week where they want, you know, maybe something mid-range for my daughter, not the all-in-one, but maybe something a little better built. The problem is, once you get into this world, there aren't a lot of $150, $200 complete setups. You pretty much go from the all-in-one to a three-piece system where you have a turntable, receiver, speakers. Okay. I have a new product that aims to kind of solve that problem. So here we carry the Andover audio. This is a new product this year called the spin base. So that's this product right here. You can set your turntable on top of it and it has a built-in preamp and built-in Bluetooth and it has a volume knob. So you can buy any turntable. You can get an old turntable or a new turntable, hook it into the back. And this is your speakers and your, and your, you know, your amplification. So instead of having to buy three pieces, having to buy speakers, receiver, and turntable, you can buy the spin base and buy a turntable, which for people who don't have a lot of space, maybe kids that are going to dorm or college or your first apartment, or again, on the older age spectrum, they don't have a lot of space, but they want to listen to quality music. This is a good way to go. You can buy a nice table and have a nice piece of equipment. Uh, speakers, obviously they're not giant floor standing speakers. Yes, they sound better than the all-in-one box speakers, but you know, this isn't a full giant full range, you know, 12 inch woofer speakers. So again, a big step up, 
but not the ultimate. So don't, you know, don't expect it to, you know, you know it'll, it'll blare the house out, but it's not going to, you know, knock pictures off the wall like your 12-inch Sir, Sirwin Vegas would. So um, just be realistic with your expectations on it. But I'm telling you, for th it's $300. They do come with a two-year warranty, which is pretty amazing. If you're not familiar with Andover Audio, it's guys from Cambridge Audio that went out and started their own company. So uh, quality built piece, um, new piece, has Bluetooth, has a built-in preamp or non-preamp. So you can hook a vintage turntable into it and use the phono in here. Or if you have a turntable that has a built-in preamp, you can use that preamp and use it as a line in. So you have some options um, and you can just set your turntable right on top of it, which is fantastic. So that's a really cool product we just started carrying. All right, big news from Project. This is one of my best-selling turntable over all the years, Project Debut Carbon. These have been all over the internet over the years. I'm sure you see them. This one's in blue. They come in red. They come in black. They come in gray, white, red, blue, green. The big news is they're discontinued. That's right, guys. The Project Debut Carbon is done. This is probably one of my last ones I'm ever going to have. Probably my last blue one I'm ever going to have. Um, but don't worry, they've replaced it. it. We have a replacement coming. Actually, I've already sold a few of them. So Project has gotten rid of a few models. So the, the debut carbon with the Ortofon Red, where you have to change the belt for speed, is going away. Also, the debut Esprit which is the one with a little button here and the uh, acrylic platter and the Ortofon Red, also going out of away, discontinued. They are replacing them with the Debut Carbon Evo and the, Deb the Record Master. So the prices went up a little bit. The Record Master will now be at $400. It has uh, the lower end Ortofon cartridge on it. Um, but it, it's pretty close otherwise to this setup. Now, the, the debut carbon uh, Evo is probably what I will be carrying the most of, and it's the best bang for the buck. So I don't have one here to show you, but the Evo has a Samico cartridge. It has a speed control three-way switch where the on-off switch used to be on the, down under here. It'll have better feet, it'll have a better motor, and they have a sound deadened platter for $500, which is amazing because this was $400, and you're getting a lot more for only an extra $100. Oh, and did I mention that these are discontinued and the price went from $400 to $450? That's right. If you can find a debut carbon, retail price on these is $450. Why? Well, because they started charging more from the factory which that price then gets handed down to America, to retailers, etc. So if you are in love and you need a debut carbon, you're just, you have to have the iconic table, go try to find one because I have the last black one in America on the way to me this week. I have a blue one in stock. I think I have a red one in stock. That's it. I have some record masters on the way. I have some Evos on the way. So that's big news. Um, also, you'll notice that the, a lot of the new tables won't have Ortofons. They have some Miko brand cartridges on them. Don't be alarmed at that. Ortofons are great cartridge, but Samico is all equally good stuff. In fact, Samico and Project are kind of like the same company. They're kind of like a partner company. So in order to get that price down to that $500 price point on the Project Evo, they put a Samico cartridge on there. It's actually better than the red. It's a slight step up from the red. Probably not as good as the blue. Probably right in between the red and the blue. Um, so look for that. That's coming. That's kind of a changeover we got going on right now. So I'm really sad. I've been selling this table for probably eight, eight to ten years. I've sold palletfuls of them. Sad to see it go. But I've got to tell you, the new Evo is awesome. I'm really happy that they replaced it with something slightly more but you're really getting a lot more for that extra 100 bucks or 50 as of today. All right, enough of the vinyl stuff. Moving into the cassette world. That's right, guys, there are new cassette players. Yep, it's 2020. Yes, the cassette has been dead for decades, but it's seeing a huge revival. That's right, they're making brand new cassette tapes. They're making brand new vintage looking boom boxes. This is one of the two I have. 
I've got it in silver. I've got it in blue. They're Bluetooth. You put a cassette deck in them. They have a radio. They're $65. They're extremely affordable. They're trendy. And we have a lot of younger kids getting back into the cassette collecting. Why? Well, it is analog. It is tape. They are small and compact. And I have thousands of them in my store and they're $2. So it's a medium that is, sounds pretty good, quite compact, and uh, it's cheap to collect. I mean, it's way cheaper than vinyl. It's, at this point, it's cheaper than CDs. It's the cheapest form of uh, physical media you can buy, and they're putting new ones out. So a lot of times, these tweens and teens, and you know, they're looking for their band, and they release a cassette. This is a great way for them to get a cassette player and play their favorite band on their little boombox. And who wouldn't like this? It's, I mean, it's cool looking, and it's $65. I can't even repair anything for that cheap. So, so to buy, be able to buy a brand new one is pretty amazing. So also I want to remind you to check out your local record store. Most local record stores carry vintage equipment and the vintage equipment is around still for a reason. It's built super well. Bang for the buck is typically there. You can buy a vintage seventies table for usually 200, 250 bucks, maybe 150, depending on the model new cartridge, new belt. They'll usually give you a warranty with it. You know, receivers, same thing. Speakers, same thing. Um, there's a lot of knowledge people out there. There's a lot of knowledgeable record stores out there. Go visit them. If obviously if you're not local to us, we do ship this stuff. We don't like to ship turntables cause they're a little tough. Um, but speakers, receivers, this kind of stuff we can ship. But there's, like I said, if you're in a different country, we have obviously customers from all over the world, try to find a local record store ask them, pick their brain. Um, that might be the best way to go. Um, like I said, you can usually get a vintage system for maybe three, $400 completely put together. Uh, you know, obviously it's not a new piece, but sometimes it sounds just as good and you save some money. So do your research, get out there, see what's local and, uh, you know, support your local record store, check out what they got for sale. Um, obviously if you, you know, you don't have a local record store, I know some of you don't, you're always welcome to reach out to me and we'll do our best to help you out, get you on the right track. So until then guys, we will see you next time. Like and subscribe, share. Uh, I got lots of other cool stuff going on in the channel. See you soon.